Hey Cancers, welcome to Turn Heal. Welcome to the place where we turn heal our way to self-love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. Welcome to your mini love reading for the week. Let's see what we got going on here. I come to you, Holy God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Cancer Collective needs to know about love? All right. Hmm. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups coming out in reverse with the Two of Wands at, on one end. So this will be in the format of Person A, Person B. Person A has the Two of Wands, Ten of Cups in reverse. Person B has the Ace of Pentacles upright. Someone's seen an opportunity while another person isn't. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like... Okay, let's get one more over there. Um, someone's seeing an opportunity while the other person's seeing like there's no way this can happen. That's what it looks like here. It's like it is, I don't even want to get my hopes up. I'm not even gonna plan for this. This is no way this could happen. While another while person B is looking at it like this is an opportunity, this can totally happen. All right. Um, how does person A feel about person B? Person A is the one with no hope. Page of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm, I'm getting no action, all defeat, just feeling hopeless. Um, the Four of Cups is like, yeah, well, I mean, that was an opportunity, but I lost it. I can't, it, it can't come back. It's just not going to work. I mean, this person is just, they, they just lost hope. All right. And how does person B feel about person A? We have the Four of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Swords. Um, they're feeling like this situation is shaky. There's still, a person B still has hope in the situation, but they feel like it's a little shaky just because there's no effort being put into it, okay, possibly. Or there's just no work, there's no progress happening here. How does, um, what's blocking person A in this connection? The sun card is coming out with the lovers. The lovers card in reverse. Huh. What's the blockage on for person B? Nine of Cups. Um, Eight of Swords. Um, hmm. I feel like one person is willing to let this go. They gave up hope. They're willing to let it go. They kind of came to terms with the situation. That it's time to let it go. Um, they're in this happiness bubble with the sun card here. I think they might feel like this is... Um, for whatever reason, they, they feel like they'll be happier by themselves. Is what I'm feeling here, okay? And they just want to work on that, on their own happiness with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, but you guys are carrying this Nine of Cups upright with the Eight of Swords and a Death card in reverse. It's like you're not trying to let this go, okay? Or no, whoever person B is. Person B is not trying to let this go. They still have hope. They still have faith in the situation. While this other person is just like, okay, let me just do me now, you know? Um, what What is person A failing to see here? Nine of Swords in reverse. Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Double Card in reverse. Okay, there's a lot of. Let's let's pull. There, it just seems like there's a lot of energy coming out. Um, I almost feel like this person is just kind of talking themselves out of it. It's it just feels. You know how sometimes someone would sabotage or create a situation. Uh, just to be like, see, I told you this wouldn't work. Is it that type of energy? I don't know what's going on here, why this person is doing this to themselves. Um, but it's they're not they're failing to see that. That it's not as much of a burden as they think it is. But with the wheel of fortune coming out, it can be a new beginning. It doesn't have to be this heavy with the ten of wands, but with that nine of swords coming out, it's like whatever they thought themselves into, they thought themselves out of it, okay? Um, 
the, instead of actually trying and acting on it, before they made any move, they just went through plan A through Z in their head and all the possible results and didn't even go for it, okay? They went into analysis paralysis and, it stopped the, and, and they talked themselves out of a situation. And they're failing to see that they did that. Um, but they're, they're, feeling, they're, they're, they're feeling like they're correct. They're feeling like they're right without actually trying. Okay. Um, what is person B feeling to see? Temperance card in reverse. Um, person B is not seeing that part. Okay. There's just seeing the lack of progress. They're seeing the lack of progress. This is why this person, so this could be an energy of someone ghosting, but I don't feel like closure was given. I don't feel like if this person made a decision to just let it go and they gave up hope, I don't feel like they they made, they made let person B know that, okay? So person B is kind of left hanging like, oh, we're still, there's still an opportunity, right? Um, yeah, so person B is not seeing that. They're not seeing that this person kind of went against themselves, okay? With the Temperance card coming out of the Six of Cups, they kind of went against their intuition. They probably went back to their, back into their turtle shell, back into their comfort zone or something like that. It was fear that made them, they talked themselves out of this opportunity. What's that advice for person A? Queen of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. See, this is them. This is them like being very clear about why they need to stop working on something. They, what they need to stop doing is muddying up their clarity because they, they come to a sense of clarity or they have come to a sense of clarity with this situation, with this connection, whatever this is, and then talk themselves out of it. They stopped being clear. They stopped thinking clearly. They, they, this is them not thinking clearly. And going against the temperance energy. Going against where they were being pushed. What's advice for um, person B? Someone gave up before they even tried. See, person B, because they didn't get the closure, they don't know that this person's in this mindset. They're just like, okay, it's just a break or it's a pause, not realizing like, oh, this person has checked out and not because they, they don't want this. They checked out because they talked themselves out of it. They don't believe that it can happen. Whatever the case is, they just lost hope, lost hope in themselves and in the connection. Um, so person B, they're being led to make a decision here. Um, with the full card, it's like, it's a fork in a row moment with that two of swords. It does seem like someone's like, I'm waiting for this new beginning. Are you gonna give me the new beginning? No, yeah, maybe. Um, but because it, it doesn't seem like there's open or it doesn't seem like there's open communication here, um, Person B is just like, what happened? Mm. All right. Um, and so person B is going to eventually have to make a decision. Um, it's like, I don't know what's happening over there, but I'm just going to make a decision and say I'm out. You know, uh, that's what it feels like. So, all right. Um, what does person A want to tell person B? I replay our conversations over and over. Um, see, yeah, it's just like, I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, they're getting lost in their own thoughts. They had clarity about the situation and then they got lost. They got lost in their own thoughts. They overanalyzed everything. You were the best, this was a clarity. You were the best thing in my life. They had that clarity, what happened? I'm starting to understand this connection. They started to, and then they kind of just dropped the ball. Wow, that sucks. 
All right, um, what does person B want to tell person A? So many things remind me of you. They, yeah, they're still feeling the connection. They're like, what's going on? I'm starting to understand the connection. So both of you guys are in that energy of like, I'm, I'm kind of confused, but I kind of see what's happening here. Finding out the truth crushed me. I feel like pl uh, person B is going to be a little, once they realize that this person isn't coming back, it's like that moment of like, hey, if you're ready to run away and elope, meet me at the harbor at 3 p.m. And you're waiting at the harbor and they don't come. And it's that. It's like, are they going to come? Are they not? And not realizing that they're not going to come until the last minute that that part that's the energy right there you came closer than anyone you don't know how hard it was to let go yeah once this person whoever person b is once they realize oh this person isn't gonna come back if there was a break and you're real and you thought it was just a break um or something like that and then you realize oh it's a break up and it's over that moment is going to be a little bit it's going to be something to get through okay um because it does seem like person b is having a hard time releasing the situation it's like i have so much hope in this situation um but yeah wow at the bottom of the deck i left you before you could leave me sabotage this person then talked themselves out of a situation and sabotaged it um, I feel like because they probably, you know, with the replaying of conversations or overthinking things, they thought like they had, ultimately, they probably didn't have enough faith in themselves. Oh, God. All right. Um, what does uh, the romance angels have to say? Release your ex on honeymoon. And I, I kind of feel with that six of cups and the temperance card coming out in verse, I kind of feel like... You know, when I said they, they might go back to their comfort zone, release your ex is coming out. They might, it might, they might go back to like an old thing that makes them feel comfortable. Okay. Um, that's what I'm getting there. That the ex brings this honeymoon energy where they don't have to, It's like known hells versus unknown heavens type of thing, okay? With this situation, um, it doesn't seem like it's a bad situation between you guys or a bad connection. It seems like you guys both wanted it. Um, but whatever it is, it kind of it scared them off. Something about it, not, not saying person B is scary. Um, I don't want you to think that if you're person B. That's not it. They were just too scared to take the leap. And I feel like they didn't have faith in themselves to be able to, to bring bring whatever love they needed to bring towards you. Um, but they knew that, you know, the ex will the ex will take them. The ex know who they are, you know, but they don't know if you would accept them, type of thing. That's what it's that's what it's coming off as. Anyway, that's the energy. All right, let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. I'm your night G, Taryn Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. Thank you so much. Oh, check out the merch below too, by the way. I thank you so much. So we meet again. Peace.